My dear Frodo, you asked me once if I had told you everything there was to know about my adventures. While well, I can honestly say I have told you the truth, I may not have told you all of it. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins. Can I help you? I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. What? No, no. I like visitors as much as the next hobbit. But I do like to know them before they come. Visiting. Mr. Baggins? At your service. Hmm? I'm surrounded by dwarves. What are they doing here? So, this is the Hobbit. Have you done much fighting? I have never used a sword in my life. Thought as much. Allow me to introduce the leader of our company, Thorin Oakenshield. Kibi, Kibi, Boing, Doing, Darling, Bali, Dory, Dory, Biffer, Bofer, Bofer. Oh, they're quite a merry gathering. <laughs> The misty mountains cold to dungeons deep and caverns old. The pines were roaring on the height. The winds were moaning. The fire was red, it flaming spread. The trees like torches blazed with light. You asked me to find the 14th member of this company, and I have chosen Mr. Baggins. Me? No, 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 no. The task I have in mind will require a great deal of stealth and no small amount of courage. Hobbits can pass unseen by most if they choose, which gives us a distinct advantage. We will reclaim our homeland. We will seize this chance to take back Erebor. Far to the east, over ranges and rivers, lies a single solitary peak. The dwarves are determined to reclaim their homeland. I cannot guarantee his safety. Understood. Nor will I be responsible for his fate. Give him the contract. You shall not be liable for injuries, including but not limited to... Incineration. Well, that would be a reference to Smaug the Terrible. You'll melt the flesh off your bones in the blink of an eye. You're right, laddie. <laughs> nope. I can't just go running off into the blue. I am a Baggins of Bag End. The world is not in your books and maps. It's out there. You'll have a tale or two to tell when you come back. Didn't you promise that I will come back? No. And if you do, you will not be the same. Mr. Bilbo, where are you off to? I'm going on an adventure! Wait! They took wages on whether or not you'd turn up. Most of them bet that you wouldn't. What did you think? Oh, my dear fellow, I never doubted you for a second. A dark part has found a way back into the world. Mithrandir, why the halfling? Why Bilbo Baggins? Perhaps it is because I'm afraid. And it gives me courage. Something moves in the shadows. I found it is the small things that keeps the darkness at bay. This is Glamdring, the foe hammer, sword of the King of Gondolin. I wouldn't bother, laddie. Swords are named for the great deeds they do in war. 
What are you saying? My sword hasn't seen battle? I'm not actually sure it is a sword. More of a letter opener, really. So this is your purpose? To enter the mountain? What of it? There are some who would not deem it wise. and every one of these dwarves over the mightiest army. As soon as possible. Oh, we nurse. We know safe paths for our races. Safe paths in the dark. Shut up. I didn't say anything. I wasn't talking to you. Why don't we have a game of riddles? And if it loses, what right then? If it loses, precious, then we eat it. <laughs> if Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. Why did you come? I know you doubt me. I know you always have. I often think of Bag End. That's where I belong. That's home. You don't have one. It's taken from you. But I will help you take it back if I can. We will reclaim our homeland. 